Next, from the Sun Founders Ultimate Sensor Kit, I'm going to select a 2XS joystick module. In my previous videos, I've explained the potentiometer and LDR modules in great detail with the help of different examples. So if you guys have watched those videos, then understanding and using the 2XS joystick will be quite easy for you. This is because the working principle of this module is exactly the same. The 2-axis joystick consists of two potentiometers. As you move the joystick, the resistance changes along the X and Y axis. So, in today's episode, you will learn how to use a 2-axis joystick module with the Arduino Uno R4 minimum board. And let me remind you, if you don't have the Arduino Uno R4 minimum board, there is no need to worry. You can also use the Arduino Uno R3 or even you can use the Arduino Nano. Today, we will be working through two examples. The first example lays the foundation of focusing on how to read and interpret values from a 2-axis joystick module using an Arduino. In this example, our primary goal is to capture and display the joystick movements. As we move the joystick along its x-axis and y-axis, we will program the Arduino to read these movements. The corresponding x-axis and y-axis values will then be printed to the serial monitor, allowing us to observe how these values changes in real time. Additionally, we will include functionality to detect and display the state of the joystick button. This means that every time the button is pressed, its state will be registered and printed to the serial monitor as well. This example serves as an essential exercise in understanding how to interface a 2-axis joystick with an Arduino and how to process and utilize the input data from such a module. In our second example, we are going to delve into a more interactive demonstration where I will show you how to control LEDs using the joystick integrated button and its analog inputs. This setup will illustrate not just the joystick directional control, but also how its button can be effectively utilized. I know that this video is quite basic because I'm making it especially for beginners. However, it's not like this. I have already used the 2XS joystick module in many videos at basic, intermediate and advanced levels. So I'll add links to all the related videos in the description. This is the two axis joystick module. The two variable resistors control the X axis and Y axis. As you move the joystick, these resistors change their values, which can be read by the Arduino and other microcontroller boards. This allows for precise control in two dimensions, making it ideal for everything from robots, RC planes, gaming controllers, to robotic arms, etc. What makes this module extra special is the integrated push button. When you press down on the joystick, it activates the button, providing a third dimension of control. This feature can be used for various purposes such as an on-off switch, a mode selector, or even as a trigger in gaming applications. The module typically has five pins, ground, VCC, VRX, and VRY for the X and Y axes, and SW for the built-in switch. So that's all about the 2-axis joystick module and now let's go ahead and start with our first example. To connect the joystick module with Arduino Uno R4, simply connect the ground pin to the Arduino ground. Connect the plus 5 volt pin to the Arduino 5 volt. Connect the joystick VRX pin to the Arduino analog pin A0. Connect the joystick VRY pin to the Arduino analog pin A1. And finally, connect the joystick SWO pin with the Arduino digital pin 2. You can follow this circuit diagram and now let's go ahead and take a look at the programming. First, we define our pins connections. X axis and Y axis are connected to analog pins A0 and A1. These read the joystick position. The button pin is connected to digital pin 2 which will read the state of the button. In the setup function, we begin our serial communication and set our button pin as an input with an internal pull-up resistor. This setup avoids the need for an external resistor and simplifies our circuit. Now let's move to the loop function. First we read the joystick's position. X position gets the horizontal axis and Y position gets the Y axis using the analog rate function. Next, we have button state which reads whether the joystick button is pressed. It uses digital read function to get a true pressed or false release rating. These serial dot print statements are used to output the X and Y positions along with the button state to the serial monitor. This real-time data is essential for debugging and fine-tuning our joystick performance. So that's all about the programming. I have already uploaded this program and now let's watch this in action.
Now let's go ahead and start with the second example. Here we have our joystick module connected to an Arduino and four LEDs. Each LED corresponds to a direction, forward, backward, left and right. This setup will help us visualize how joystick movements can control a motor. The LEDs will remain inactive or off by default. They will only become active and respond to the joystick movements when the button on the joystick is pressed. Wiring of the joystick remains exactly the same. The inert legs of all the LEDs are connected to the Arduino pins 3, 4, 5 and 6. Whereas the cathode legs of all the LEDs are connected to the Arduino ground through these current limiting resistors. These are 330 ohm resistors. These resistors are crucial as they limit the current flowing through each LED, preventing any potential damage. You can follow this circuit diagram and now let's go ahead and take a look at the programming. X axis, Y axis and button pin remain exactly the same. Four LEDs are connected to the Arduino pins 3, 4, 5 and 6. The last button state variable is a type of boolean, is initially set to high and is utilized to keep track of the joystick button previous state. The joystick active is also a variable of the type boolean, is initially set to false and is used to monitor the active status of the joystick, determining whether it is currently being operated. Inside the setup function, I simply activated the serial communication and I'm still using a baud rate of 9600. I set all the components on the joystick as the input as we will be reading from the joystick and I set all the LEDs as output. Using the digital write function, I turned off all the LEDs because by default I want all these LEDs in the off state. Now let's move on to the loop function. This instruction reads the current state of the joystick button. The if statement checks if the button was not pressed before. Last button state equals equals high and is now pressed current button state is equal to equal to low. If true, it toggles joystick active to its opposite state, on to off or off to on, prints the state to the serial monitor and applies a 50 millisecond delay to debounce the button. Last button state equals current button state. It updates the last button state with a current state for the next loop iteration. If joystick active is true, the joystick X and Y axis positions are read and are stored in variables X position and Y position. Initially, all the LEDs are turned off. Then based on the joystick position, specific LEDs are turned on. If Y position is below 400, the forward LED turns on. If Y position is above 600, the backward LED turns on. Similarly, the left and right LEDs are turned on based on the X position. So that's all about the programming. I have already uploaded this program and now let's watch this in action. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.